the most dangerous prehistoric ocean predators. Life on Earth had its origins in water, and over hundreds of millions of years of evolution, the seas and oceans have been home to a large variety of living creatures. More than 500 million years ago, the first marine predators appeared. Ever since, the title for the most dangerous prehistoric ocean predator has been passed down amongst these beasts in every geological period. Their evolution took many forms. In this video, we'll tell you about the most dangerous hunters to have ever lived in the world's oceans. To be the first to know about the release of new videos with stories about the peculiarities of dinosaur evolution and the development of life on Earth, you should click on the subscribe button. Additionally, our viewers can express their opinions via likes and comments. Anomalocaris could be considered one of the first predators on the planet. Despite its relatively small height, which came out to less than 60 centimeters or 24 inches, this member of the arthropods was a major threat in the underwater Cambrian world. It was unique for its advanced swimming ability for its time. It is likely that it could move swiftly with wave-like movements of flat spinners on either side of its body. Its tail fan acted as a rudder. The Anomalocaris' superior vision also helped it find prey amidst the waves. Its faceted eyes were closer to perfection than the eyes of modern insects. The Cambrian period was a golden age for underwater arthropods. Approximately 460 million years ago, crustaceans reigned supreme on the sea floor. These ancestors to crayfish, crabs, and scorpions shared a similar body structure to their modern counterparts, though theirs could grow up to 2 meters or 6 feet long. Scientists have not yet settled on whether the sea scorpions at that time were poisonous, but the similarity in tail structure to contemporary scorpions lends faith to this hypothesis. Sharks were already around in the seas of the Devonian Paleozoic. In many ways, they resembled the primary hunters of today's seas and oceans. But even sharks would have something to fear back then. The jaws of the giant Dunkleosteus jellyfish could bite even the largest of these sharks in half. Dunkleosteus grew as large as 10 meters or 33 feet in length, and their body was protected by a powerful armor that no beast could penetrate. At the very beginning of the Age of Dinosaurs, the ocean was home to a very strange and yet dangerous fish. Externally, the Helicoprion was very similar to the shark, though its closest relative is the modern perch. This predator was by no means a giant. Its length never exceeded 4.5 meters or 15 feet. However, it came equipped with a rather unusual lower jaw. It was shaped in a spiral and studded with sharp, jagged teeth. Scientists speculate that this jaw might have rotated like a circular saw. Another predator, which was tiny for its time, lived during the Triassic period. Nothosaurus was no more than 4 meters or 13 feet long. The body, however, finished off with a head equipped with large jaws full of long, sharp teeth. It's believed that this creature fed mainly on fish and squid and was an ambush predator. Judging by its body shape, it was similar in structure to modern crocodiles, and this is pretty believable. Towards the end of the 19th century, the remains of a large pleosaur was discovered in the United States. It was named the Megalneosaurus. The bones of this monster are rather poorly preserved. Scientists reconstructed its appearance using its 1.5 meter or 5 foot long tail and some other surviving bones. They also concluded that this sea lizard reached a length of 10 to 12 meters or 33 to 39 feet and lived during the late Jurassic period. Another large member of the Jurassic Pleosaur family was the Leoplerodon. According to various estimates, it reached a size of anywhere between 6 to 15 meters or 20 to 50 feet. In rarer sources, you might find that figure as high as 25 meters or 82 feet. After studying this dinosaur's body structure, scientists concluded that it was unlikely to have been able to develop great speeds when chasing prey. But just like modern crocodiles, this predator was still capable of quick jerking motions and agile maneuvers. At the turn of the Jurassic and Crustaceous periods, Dacosaurus could be found in both seas and oceans. These were crocodile-like creatures up to 6 meters or 20 feet long and belonged to the Archosaurus family. Their remains were discovered from Russia all the way to Argentina. They're the only wholly marine archosaurs. Dacosaurus had a large skull with a short snout and uniquely shaped teeth. 
Malisaurus, a creature which lived in the waters of modern New Zealand during the Cretaceous period, was about 20 meters or 60 feet. 75% of this length was accommodated by its neck and small head. It's believed that this lizard grew such a long neck in order to hunt fish more effectively. A giant body with clippers could frighten away prey. This is why it's best to keep your prey at a distance. The small head didn't cause any fear around its prey. One might agree that this is a pretty original and effective way to hunt. One of the largest pleosaurs is the Chronosaurus. This 10 meter or 33 feet long lizard lived in the seas near the South Pole in the middle of the Cretaceous period. Its remains were first discovered in Australia. About a third of its total length was just a massive head with powerful jaws. The flippers on the Chronosaurus resembled those of the modern tortoise. It has been suggested that these predators may have come ashore to lay eggs on sandy beaches. Around 65 million years ago, one of the most dangerous marine predators to have ever lived was called the Mosasaurus. According to varied sources, it was 17 to 20 meters, or 56 to 65 feet in length, and was considered the largest lizard on Earth. Its close relatives are the modern monitor lizards. Mosasaurus had a giant barrel-shaped body with two pairs of flippers. Their tail was similar to that of sharks and some ichthyosaurs. The bite force of its jaws could put to shame those of a modern crocodile several times over. Hardly any animal was capable of surviving an encounter with this formidable predator. It was only the age of dinosaurs that was brought to an end as a result of climate change fueled by a giant asteroid collision with the Earth. Many marine creatures couldn't adapt to the new living conditions either. Thus, during the Cenozoic era, there were plenty of empty niches to fill in the hierarchy of underwater hunters. One of them was occupied by predatory whales, the Basilosaurus. Their average length came in at about 20 meters or 65 feet. This size made them one of the most imposing predators of their time. Unlike modern whales, however, Basilosaurus were not capable of echolocation and could not actively dive. They moved by wriggling in the water as snakes do. This mixture of a whale, snake, and crocodile was a threat to smaller cetaceans and ancient sharks. Later on in time, the sharks managed to win back first place amongst the marine predators. All thanks for that go to the megalodon. About 25 million years ago, these giant sharks, about 20 meters or 65 feet long, were the largest members of all marine fauna. With the help of teeth and jaws and other remains which have been discovered, scientists assume these bus-sized monsters may have even lived as far back as 1.5 million years ago. This means the first members of mankind could have encountered them in person. We're lucky that modern sharks don't grow this large and megalodons couldn't survive the current consequences of the latest ice age. A worthy competitor appeared amidst the megalodons around 13 million years ago. Melville's Leviathan, a giant sperm whale with teeth over 30 centimeters or 12 inches, hunted the same prey as the largest shark in the Earth's history. This cetacean family member's serious advantage was the presence of an echo sounder. The skull of this sperm whale was found off the coast of South America in 2008. The length of this skull was 3 meters or 10 feet, and the leviathan's teeth were found to be 12 to 32 centimeters or 5 to 13 inches in diameter. Neither great sharks nor the leviathan nor many other predators described above survived to the present day, but in our modern seas and oceans, many of their descendants still thrive. Even if they can't boast the same size, modern sharks, whales, and crocodiles still pose a serious threat to other marine animals and humans. It's true that among modern marine predators, they are giants of their own. Sea stingrays, which are the descendants of ancient sharks, once reached 5 meters or 16 feet in size. Even now, it's not uncommon to find stingrays with a fin span of over 2 meters or 6 feet at the ocean's depths. The main danger for humans is that giant stingrays are equipped with poison. At the same time, they camouflage very well. One might not have time to process the danger they pose. We are grateful to the viewers who have watched till the end of this video. If you are fascinated by these prehistoric marine predators, you can learn about other members of the dinosaur era and other geological periods from other videos posted to our channel.